Jet is developing floating 5G networks hosted on Boy platforms to provide connectivity to coastal and offshore locations. The company was founded in 2020 to address a gap in the market for mobile networks that can be used by everyday devices, such as mobile phones, to improve safety for people working offshore. In 2021, we deployed our first small data collection buoy, which transmits live feeds such as video and sea state information over 5G to the shore. Earlier this year, we deployed our slightly larger base station platform, which transmits the signal further out into the sea to people or devices. And now we're developing our largest platform jet, which will be used to provide full floating mobile networks by connecting to each other and transmitting signal from miles offshore, relaying data back and forth to the land with millisecond latency. 5G is our core focus for several reasons. We have the ability to slice the network, meaning, for example, we can give priority access to emergency services for rescue missions or to a primary user. And 5G architecture is ready to service the demand for bandwidth in areas of autonomy and robotics, which are growing rapidly in sectors such as offshore renewables. Maritime 4.0 is about the digitization of our oceans by innovating with technology to make the most of opportunities within the marine environment. This can be anything from improving port operation efficiencies to monitoring how human activity affects mammal migration. There are hundreds of use cases here. Every sector with offshore operations is exploring improving efficiencies. And the most exciting thing about utilizing digital technology is how, as a whole, we in the maritime industry can improve seafarer safety as well as learning more about our oceans and how we can continue to grow sectors at sea while supporting the natural environment. Through JET's 5G systems, we're aiming to give people a way to communicate easily with each other and with remote systems, as well as supporting an increase in autonomy and remote data collection to shift the number of people working in dangerous environments to being able to continue their role from the safety of an operations centre. JET is working in this area because we're passionate about improving safety and security, sustainability and smart operations at sea. We're currently focusing on offshore wind, port operations, safety and aquaculture as our primary data users and we are continuing to explore the ways a digital ocean will support their productivity and efficiencies. The difference between our systems and others is that ours are specifically designed for the maritime environment, so the setup is different on land networks. 5G is more than just one architecture, so where mobile network operators might be focusing their upgrades to 5G around cities and areas with the most users, they will need networks that are able to process huge amounts of data and users at once. For example, at a football stadium, you might have thousands of people in one place streaming data, so the network needs to be able to cope with that, and if additional masks are needed, they're relatively easy to build. We have the opposite situation at sea, where the number of users is much lower per area, but the requirement is more around getting coverage to as large an area as possible with minimal physical equipment. Both of these examples can use 5G and both would get super fast speeds and high amounts of data, but the use case is completely different, so the software and hardware that drives it is different too. Our networks also differ to satellites, with the ability to set up a local system for specific use, where a satellite gives the same service to everywhere it reaches, so it can't be tailored to a location, but it's ideal for the middle of the Atlantic, for example, where there may be a couple of users within a huge geographical area. By being able to target an area, we're able to provide the ideal service for the user as well as the ideal price because we're not spending on infrastructure where it's not going to be used. All of our systems are built in-house specifically to be low power and to survive the harsh sea environment, but the benefit of doing something different is that there's plenty of opportunity for collaboration with traditional mobile and satellite networks in the future, and we're looking forward to seeing where this takes us.